Hello, welcome to the main story for Beam 1. Let's start with the main story. Beam 1 is a fixed beam. The distributed force acting on beam 1 is 1.5 tons per meter. The concentrated force acting at the center of the beam is 4 tons. The dimensions of the cross section are 500 millimeters by 250 millimeters. The design span is 3.7 meters. The class of the longitudinal reinforcement is A2. The diameter of each longitudinal reinforcement bar is 14 millimeters. There are two upper corner rebars and two upper additional rebars. The lower rebar layer includes two lower internal rebars and two lower corner rebars. The class of the stirrup is A1. The diameter of each stirrup bar is 8 millimeters. The stirrups are placed every 100 millimeters at the supports and every 200 millimeters in the middle. The concrete grade of beam 1 is B20. The required concrete slump is 14 plus or minus 2 millimeters. Concrete slump must be checked before concreting. Test samples must be taken as well. The samples are cubic in shape. The dimension of each side is 150 millimeters. The samples will be transferred to the laboratory for special curing. The concrete strength will be confirmed by sample testing results at the age of 28 days. At first, scaffolding for formwork supports is erected. The two surveyors use automatic level to determine attitude of the beam. After installing the scaffolding and supports, formwork is erected. The estimated formwork quantity is 5 square meters. With accomplishment of rebar and formwork, concreting can be started. The estimated concrete for the beam is 0 0.5 cubic meters. Two rod vibrators are used to compact concrete. As soon as concreting has been completed, concrete finisher smooths concrete surface. Concreting lasts 30 minutes. Concrete is cured with damp cloth. That's our short story. Now I will start at the beginning of the story and as I read the story I will ask questions and as always please answer the questions out loud and you should use your strong gesture as much as you can. It makes you happy, strong, and relaxed while learning. If you need a little more time, then you can pause your iPod or your MP3 player and take as much time as you need to answer the questions. Of course, if you just feel like listening to the questions and not answering them, that's fine as well. Okay, so here we go. Beam 1 is a fixed beam. What is a fixed beam? Beam 1 is a fixed beam. Is beam 1 an overhanging beam? No, no. Beam 1 is not an overhanging beam. Is beam 1 a fixed beam or an overhanging beam? Beam 1 is a fixed beam. The distributed force acting on beam 1 is 1.5 tons per meter. Is there any distributed force acting on beam 1? Yes, there is a distributed force acting on beam 1. What is the magnitude of the distributed force? The magnitude of the distributed force is 1.5 tons per meter. Where is the distributed force placed? The distributed force is placed along the beam. The concentrated force acting at the center of beam 1 is 4 tons. Where is the concentrated force acting on the beam? The concentrated force acting on the beam is at the center. Is the concentrated force acting on the beam at the support? No, no. The concentrated force acting on the beam isn't at the support. What is the magnitude of the concentrated force? The magnitude of the concentrated force is 4 tons. Is the magnitude of the concentrated force 4 tons? Yes, the magnitude of the concentrated force is 4 tons. 
The dimensions of the cross section are 500 millimeters by 250 millimeters. What is the dimension of the cross section? The dimension of the cross section are 500 millimeters by 250 millimeters. Are 500 millimeters by 250 millimeters or 400 millimeters by 200 millimeters the cross section of beam 1? The dimensions of the cross section are 500 millimeters by 250 millimeters. The design span is 3.7 meters. What is the design span? The design span is 3.7 meters. Is 4.7 meters the design span? No, the design span is not 4.7 meters. The class of the longitudinal reinforcement is A2. What is the class of the longitudinal reinforcement? The class of the longitudinal reinforcement is A2. Is the class of the longitudinal reinforcement A2 or A1? A2. The class of the longitudinal reinforcement is A2. The diameter of each longitudinal reinforcement bar is 14 millimeters. What is the diameter of each longitudinal reinforcement bar? The diameter of each longitudinal rebar is 14 millimeters. Is the diameter of each longitudinal rebar 14 or 24 millimeters? 14. The diameter of each longitudinal rebar is 14 millimeters. There are two upper corner rebars and two upper additional rebars. What is there? There are two upper corner rebars and two upper additional rebars. How many rebars are there? There are four upper rebars. The lower rebar layer includes two lower internal rebars and two lower corner rebars. What is there in the lower rebar layer? The lower rebar layer includes two lower internal rebars and two lower corner rebars. What does the lower rebar include? The lower rebar includes two lower internal rebars and two lower corner rebars. How many rebars in the lower layer? Four. There are two lower internal rebars and two lower corner rebars. Are there five rebars in the lower layer? No, no. There are not five rebars in the lower layer. The class of the stirrup is A1. What is the class of the stirrup? The class of the stirrup is A1. Is the class of the stirrup A3 or A1? A1. The class of the stirrup is A1. The diameter of each stirrup bar is 8 millimeters. What is the diameter of each stirrup bar? The diameter of each stirrup bar is 8 millimeters. Is the diameter of each stirrup bar 8 millimeters? Yes, the diameter of each stirrup bar is 8 millimeters. Is the diameter of each stirrup bar 8 or 18 millimeters? 8. The diameter of each stirrup bar is 8 millimeters. The stirrups are placed every 100 millimeters at the supports. What is placed every 100 millimeters? The stirrups at supports are placed every 100 millimeters. Are the stirrups at supports placed every 100 or 200 millimeters? 100 millimeters. The stirrups at supports are placed every 100 millimeters. What is the distance between every two stirrups at the supports? The distance between every two stirrups at the supports is 100 millimeters. The stirrups in the middle are placed every 200 millimeters. What is the distance between every two stirrups in the middle? The distance between every two stirrups is 200 millimeters. Are the stirrups in the middle placed every 200 millimeters? Yes, of course. 
The stirrups in the middle are placed every 200 millimeters. The concrete grade of beam 1 is B20. What is the concrete grade of beam 1? The concrete grade of beam 1 is B20. Is the concrete grade of beam 1 B20 or B30? B20. The concrete grade of beam 1 is B20. The required concrete slump is 14 plus or minus 2 millimeters. What is the required concrete slump? The required concrete slump is 14 plus or minus 2 millimeters. Is 14 plus or minus 2 millimeters the required concrete slump? Yes, of course. The required concrete slump is 14 plus or minus 2 millimeters. Is 18 millimeters the required concrete slump? No, no. The required concrete slump is not 18 millimeters. Is 16 millimeters the required concrete slump? Yes, 16 millimeters is the required concrete slump. Concrete slump must be checked before concreting. What must be checked before concreting? Concrete slump must be checked before concreting. Must concrete slump be checked before concreting? Yes, sure. Concrete slump must be checked before concreting. Must concrete slump be checked after or before concreting? Concrete slump must be checked before concreting. Test samples must be taken. What must be taken? Test samples must be taken. Must test samples be taken? Yes, of course. Test samples must be taken. Must test samples be taken before concreting? Yes, test samples must be taken before concreting. Must test samples be taken after concreting? No, no. Test samples must not be taken after concreting. The samples are cubic in shape. What is cubic in shape? The samples are cubic in shape. Are samples cylindrical in shape? No, the samples are not cylindrical in shape. What is the shape of the samples? The shape of samples is cubic. The dimension of each side is 150 millimeters. What is the dimension of each side? The dimension of each side is 150 millimeters. Is the dimension of each side 200 millimeters? No, no. The dimension of each side is 150 millimeters. The samples will be transferred to the laboratory for special curing. What will be transferred to the laboratory for special curing? The samples will be transferred to the laboratory for special curing. Will the samples be kept at site for special curing? No, no. The samples will be transferred to the laboratory for special curing. Where will the samples be transferred to for special curing? The samples will be transferred to the laboratory for special curing. The concrete strength will be confirmed by sample testing results at the age of 28 days. What will be confirmed by sample testing results at the age of 28 days? The concrete strength will be confirmed by sample testing results at the age of 28 days. What results will confirm the concrete strength? The sample testing results at the age of 28 days will confirm the concrete strength. By what will the concrete strength be confirmed? The concrete strength will be confirmed by sample testing results at the age of 28 days. What results will confirm the concrete strength? The sample testing results at the age of 28 days will confirm the concrete strength. When will the concrete strength be confirmed? 
The concrete strength will be confirmed when sample testing results at the age of 28 days are available. At first, scaffolding for formwork supports is erected. What is erected first? Scaffolding for formwork supports is erected. Two surveyors use automatic level to determine attitude of the beam. Who uses automatic level to determine attitude of the beam? Two surveyors use automatic level to determine attitude of the beam. After installing the scaffolding and supports, formwork is erected. Is formwork erected after installing the scaffolding and supports? Yes, formwork is erected after installing the scaffolding and supports. The estimated formwork quantity is 5 square meters. How many square meters of formwork are estimated? The estimated formwork quantity is 5 square meters. With accomplishment of rebar and formwork, concreting can be started. When can concreting be started? Concreting can be started with accomplishment of rebar and formwork. The estimated concrete for the beam is 0 0.5 cubic meters. How much concrete is estimated for the beam? The estimated concrete for the beam is 0 0.5 cubic meters. Two rod vibrators are used to compact concrete. What is used to compact concrete? Two rod vibrators are used to compact concrete. As soon as concreting has been completed, concrete finisher smooths concrete surface. What does concrete finisher do as soon as concreting has been completed? As soon as concreting has been completed, concrete finisher smooths concrete surface. Concreting lasts 30 minutes. How long does concreting last? Concreting lasts 30 minutes. Concrete is cured with a damp cloth. With what is concrete cured? Concrete is cured with a damp cloth. Okay, that's the end of the mini story for Beam 1. Listen to this as much as you can. It is your turn to tell the story by yourself. Remember, you do not have to memorize every word in the story, and now tell the story on your own. Thanks a lot, and see you next time. Bye-bye. We just wanted to let you know that this lesson has been copyrighted in the year 2012 by QBest Center. www.englishforconstruction.com